Hey, Christy, it's Erin in Roanoke. I had to sneak into our sound booth real quick because our newsroom is so loud today. Anyways, you know all about that. I just wanted to thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for giving me the opportunity when I was just 20 years old as an intern. You gave me my first job, and you led me on this path to where I am today, and I'm forever grateful for that. You're a wonderful person, and I, of course, wish you all the best and happiness in the world as you start this new journey. Hey, Christy. Hey, everybody. We wish we could have been down there in southern West Virginia with you uh, to celebrate this occasion. I guess it's bittersweet because you are leaving WVNS, but at the same time, you're going on to uh, bigger and better opportunities. What can I say that I haven't already told you before? You know how I feel about you. You know how I felt working for you for three wonderful, wonderful years of getting up at 2 o'clock in the freaking morning to smile and look perky at 5 freaking a.m. Well, it's not much different than I do now because I have young kids. Isn't that scary? Jason Tyler has kids, and I've got one on the way. More importantly, Jason Tyler actually found somebody to sleep with him. Hmm. Maybe it was good that I became Jason Oxenhandler again. But anyway, thank you for making three wonderful years of my life when we were at uh, WVNF. You know, I started my marriage there. You let me leave during a sweeps period to go on my honeymoon. And it was a joy to work for you. And I'm sure the folks who will be working with you and for you at your new social media company will enjoy it just as much as I have and as my colleagues and uh, newer colleagues, I should say, uh, who came in after me. I wish you and Gary and Willow and Dylan and Jack the best, the best of everything because plain and simply, you deserve it. I love you, baby. Good luck, and hopefully we'll see you soon. Hey, Christy, I can't believe you're leaving 59. Such a bittersweet moment, I'm sure. I'm so excited for you in this new adventure um, you're going on. I want to share with you that you are the best boss um, I've ever had, and I'm just so thankful that you decided to give me a chance and give me so many opportunities. You taught me so much, um, not only about news, but about life um, as well. So thanks for loving me. Thanks for encouraging me. Um, and thanks for being my friend. I'm so excited for you to go to North Carolina and embark on this new adventure in life. I know you're going to have an amazing time and just continue to be an awesome influence in the lives of people um, you interact with in the future. Oh gosh, Christy, I'm so excited for you. Um, I miss you. I hope maybe I'll run into you in North Carolina at some point. I'd love to get back down there and um, I'd love to see you. man. Oh, the best to you, um, because you deserve it. Love you. Bye. Hi from Lexington, everybody. I wish I could be there in person, but this is going to have to do for now. So let me start by saying I still remember years ago carefully addressing my cover letter and resume, Dear Miss Buckland at WVNS TV. That, of course, didn't last long, though. Miss Buckland quickly became Christy, and my boss eventually became a friend, and such a good friend at that. Christy, I am so happy for you. I'm so excited about the future and the future that awaits you and your family. I just could not let you go though without telling you how much you are going to be missed. You were such a great boss, one of the best bosses I've ever had and I knew it from the very beginning, the day I interviewed with you for that job. During that interview you said something that I've never forgotten and I still think starts to explain why people loved working for you so much. You told me in that interview that you had worked for some pretty bad bosses in your career and that you never wanted any of your employees to go through what you went through. It sounds simple enough, but for you, it was more than just words. That promise showed in every way you led that newsroom. As a manager, you did something which unfortunately is pretty rare in this business. You treated others how you would like to be treated. I felt so cared for in that newsroom. Your patience, your understanding, your guidance made my two years there really unforgettable. The Gent tragedy, countless snowstorms, and even managed to keep farm animals out of the station parking lot for the most part. I'm sure you don't forget that. You're going to be bored now without all that, aren't you, Christy? In all seriousness, you gave me so much more than just a start in TV. For that, I am forever grateful. But on top of it all, you taught me what makes a good leader, and you are that, Christy. Whatever you do from here, those around you will be so lucky, just as we all were in Gent. Best of luck to you, and take care. 
Hi Christy, it's Jessica. I'm sitting on my back deck in Northern Kentucky and I hear you're moving to North Carolina. I wanna say congratulations to you. I'm sure the newsroom at old WVNS is gonna miss you. Um, thank you for so much for all the things that you've done for me, for helping me get my first start in the news biz and uh, helping me get to where I am today, which is making commercials. Um, thank goodness I have not had any repeats of chasing flies on live television, not knowing that I was live. No, I have not done that yet, which I think my clients really appreciate. Um, but anyway, thanks for hanging in there with me through all the good times and bad times, and good luck to you. Love ya. Say bye, Hark. Hey, Christy, Martina Bills here. Sorry I couldn't say goodbye to you in person, but I'm glad we got to catch up on the phone for a few minutes last week. I want to wish you lots of luck in your new adventure, but I also want to thank you, of course, for taking a chance on me back in 2003 and hiring me. I learned so much from you, and I think it's awesome to be able to say that I was part of the startup news crew that debuted WVNS 59 News. So thanks so much for everything, and I can honestly say from the bottom of my heart, you are my most favorite and the best news director I ever worked for. So lots of luck in North Carolina. Of course, you're leaving it is West Virginia's loss, North Carolina's game, and I wish you nothing but the best. Take care. Anyone who was around when I first went on the air probably remembers the shakes, the stammers, the freezing, the staring, the inability to go off script. Actually, since I'm on script right now, the inability to go off script still applies. But regardless, when I first went on the air, I was not good. Once, I literally froze on camera, no idea what the story was, but will never forget sitting there, staring into the camera, unable to move for 10 of the longest seconds of my life. The next day, after a sleepless night petrified of what the newsroom would have to say, Christie's only question, what was that? And to be honest, I still to this day do not know what that was. But somehow, she put me back on camera. Later, she would sit me down in her office to watch infamous and devastatingly embarrassing resume tapes. Whether for laughs or motivation or both, this tactic worked. Still can't believe that some people cannot walk. Christie trained and mentored some incredible journalists, producers, and cameramen in that newsroom. But Christie also had a huge impact on those of us who got caught up in other things. It's not out of the ordinary now for me to face things and issues, situations way outside of my comfort zone. Try training 75 policemen in the jungle in Sierra Leone and not one of them is able to understand your English. So needless to say that at times my hands still get clammy, my voice catches, I get nervous. There aren't the same safety nets. I don't have an anchor to rescue me, Valerie to coach me through an earpiece, Bill or another cameraman to give cues, or a news director to guide me along the right path so I get better next time. But what matters is that for almost two years, I did have that at WBNS. So now, regardless of how I fail or the challenges I face, I know that I will always go on the air again. In short, I'm honored to say that I am one of those discovered and launched by Christy Buckland. Thank you, Christy. In Phnom Penh, Cambodia, I'm Nate Quick, wishing you, Christy Buckland, the best of luck in the future. Hey Christy, just wanted to wish you good luck and congratulations on everything and I wanted to thank you again for everything you did for me at the start of my career. You were such a great boss to have, such a great news director to have at the beginning of my, my work in this industry and I feel lucky to have been able to work at 59 News and I'm always going to look back fondly at my time there and, and you're the reason for that. You were more than a boss, you became such a great friend as well. So good luck with everything moving forward. I know, I know you're going to have a great life and you're going to be great at everything you do. Congrats on the new job and I wish you nothing but the best. I'll miss you, Christy. Bye-bye. Hey, Christy. It, it's been great working with you. Uh, we're all going to miss you, but congratulations and, and have fun out there. And I'm sure you're not going to death. Bye. Hey there, Christy. It's, uh, it's really, really sad to see you go. Um, I've known you pretty much ever since the, the station started. And uh, without you, I would never have had these opportunities to, to work here and, uh, and actually have a, a, a really great time working in the station and have the, the opportunities that's been given to me 
over the last nine years here. And uh, without you, I would definitely not even be allowed in this building. Uh, so thank you so much for, for all of the, the opportunities that you've given me over these last nine years. It's uh, without you, like I said, I would not be here, uh, nor would I have the opportunities that are uh, with me now and wouldn't have the scholarship that I've gotten. And it just, uh, it all kind of comes back to you and, and all the opportunities that you have, uh, have given me. But uh, I wish you the best of luck and, uh, and best of luck as you move on in, in your career and all of your future endeavors. And uh, we'll definitely keep in touch. Hey, Christy, I just want you to know how much we'll miss you here at 59 News, but you're going to be with your real family now, even though your news family is going to miss you so much. I owe my entire career to you here at 59 News and whatever the future holds because you took a chance on me and taught me everything there is to know about TV news. I just want to thank you for that and thank you for everything you've taught me from baking cookies to how to write news stories for TV. So I hope you won't forget us here and I wish you the very best with your future endeavors. We'll miss you. Hi Christy and goodbye Christy. Um, I'm wishing you the best of luck on your new adventure in life. I just wanted to thank you so much for uh, believing me in me and giving me the opportunity to get into this business. Um, over the past couple of months I've learned so much from you, more than I've learned in college or from a textbook and I will always associate you with the person who got me into this business and you know really thought I could become the great journalist that I'm blooming into. So I'm wishing you a ton of luck in your new career, uh, best wishes for you and Gary and Here's to um, a life change, a huge life change, and to much ha happiness and success. We're all rooting for you, and you have made such a profound impact on um, who I am as a person and also who I'm becoming professionally. So I will always have uh, you to thank for that, and um, big congratulations, and really wishing you the best, Christy. We love you, and we're going to miss you. The newsroom won't be the same without you. Hey, Christy, I really want to thank you for giving me the chance to learn from you and from all the people here at the station. It was your guiding hand that, that picked the people that have made this station what it is and, and we can't really thank you enough, any of us, uh, and especially me, who never thought he would be a journalist or in this career path, but because of you, I will be, I, I am the journalist that I am and we are really just excited for you but we are really going to miss you seriously around here and, and your firm hand on the tiller from here on and we just wish you the best of luck and the best of times uh, as you move on in North Carolina. Well, hey, Christy, I just wanted to say that it was great getting to work for you and learning so much from you, believe it or not. I actually did. Uh, we'll take on a thing or two as my career moves farther down, wherever it may go. I wish you nothing but the best, and uh, hopefully you may even hear it once or twice from me just to bug you and make sure everything's going okay. But again, I can't thank you enough because after all, you are the, uh, the one who really got let me get my foot in the door and also stick it in the mouth, my mouth as I'm doing right now. But again, uh, a thousand thank yous and best of luck in North Carolina. I know we're all pulling for you and uh, hope everything goes great from the move to wherever it may lead. So once again, thank you and uh, look forward to hearing from you once in a while. Hi, it's Lauren Wepler. Christy, I am so, so excited for you to start this new journey of your life. Uh, I can't wait to hear all about it, and I'm so excited to have got to have known you and uh, become your friend. And it's been exciting to work here. You're the reason I came here to work, and um, I loved it. And you taught me how to be passionate about what I do and really care about the people I work with. So thank you for teaching me those lessons, and I wish you nothing but the best, and I love you, and goodbye. Hi, Christy. It's Sam Cahill. You have been a fabulous boss and a great mentor and friend. I appreciate everything that you have taught me and everything that you helped me accomplish. I'm going to miss you so much, but it will not be that easy to get rid of me because once we are both in North Carolina, I'd love to meet up for a dinner date and just wish you the best of luck. I am so sorry that I could not make it to your going away party at Winter Place, but I hope to keep in touch with you and just wish you all the best. 
Yo, Christy! Thanks so much for putting up with me uh, the last year and month or so. Um, it's been a lot of fun. I've learned a whole lot and I wish you the best on your new journey and I hope you come back to see us really, really soon. I wish you all the best. Christy, it's wonderful to have you as my boss. Uh, you're probably one of the best bosses ever. Coming to you a day before vacations and things, and be like, can I have next week off? And you'd be like, oh, sure. Awesome. I couldn't ask for anybody better. Um, I think you uh, will never be topped by anybody, and uh, we're going to miss you. Hey, Christy. It's been great working for you. You really are the best boss I've ever had and probably will have. Uh, it's been a great opportunity, and just, I want to say thank you for letting me do this and letting me have all this fun for all these years. We're going to miss you and uh, we appreciate you always uh, fighting for us here. Good luck and uh, have a good time. Well, what can I say? This is a, a bittersweet day. Um, I'm excited about the new chapter you're about to start in your life, but I'm sad to see you go. Um, you gave me an opportunity to do something I thought I would never get to do in my career and it's been being a chief photographer. Through my ups and my downs on the job you were there and through my ups and downs in my personal life you were there. If I was ever going to have a sister, I would want it to be you. So good luck. Hey Christy, it's me. Um, I didn't get a chance to say goodbye earlier because of all of the crazy things that I've been doing. And I wanted to give you time to adjust to all the other goodbyes that you had. I just want to thank you for everything that you've done for me throughout the years. Um, You've been a rock for me in a very tumultuous time in my life. I mean, since I've been here, I've lost my mom, and I lost my dad, and I lost my house twice, and I've been homeless, and all sorts of issues, and you've been like a sister to me, and um, more than just a boss, you're my one of my best friends, and I want to thank you for all those times that you were there just to listen to me or to hold my hand through very troubled times, and just to guide me and help me grow and to be more confident because since the beginning is one of the things that you told me I needed to do is to have more confidence in myself and to delegate more so I'm trying to do that and I hope that if things work out the way that you want them to um, that I can only continue your legacy though I don't think I could ever do you justice. Um, good luck with everything that you're doing in North Carolina I know we'll hear from you and I'll hear from your mother and um, keep in touch, okay? Bye. Hey guys, I'm sorry I can't be there in person. I'd love to be there, but unfortunately this new job that I have at UNC has me working around the clock. It is tough being a state employee, but don't worry, I am learning to adjust. <laughs> Sound, oh,
but hey, we're not here to talk about me. We're here to talk about a truly amazing person that has touched the lives of everyone they've ever met and is integral in making WVNS what it is today. Wait, I think we are talking about me. Oh, no, 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 Christy, Christy, it is her night to shine. Can you believe this day is here? If you had asked me nine years ago if this day was ever going to come, I would have said, oh my God, I hope so. I am ready to choke her. <laughs> but look how far we've come. The most unlikely couple is now making a life together. I can't wait to get her in North Carolina. I'm probably the only person not sad to see her leave WVNS. But hey, your loss, my gain. I know anyone that has ever worked with Christy will definitely agree that she has touched their lives in a way that they will never forget. I personally think that I'm a better engineer for having worked with Christy. She demands excellence and accepts nothing less. But in turn, she gives that back tenfold. I think you would be hard pressed to find someone that is better at their career, more committed, and more passionate about what they believe in than Christy. Christy, if you've ever wondered whether you had an impact on anyone's life, just look around you tonight. Look at the newsroom that you've built. Today I don't feel like doing anything. Now there are some people in the audience that ask me to provide funny pictures. And for the record, that would be wrong. Now, because I know Christy has a good sense of humor, and I'm also three and a half hours away, so she can't hit me, I have to show you guys probably my all-time favorite picture of Christy. This is proof that she can add class to any outfit. Notice how the reflection of the fine crystal brings out the earth tones in the camo. In all seriousness, Christy, if you ever wondered why you got into television or if you ever made a difference, just look around you. Your contribution is undeniable, and you will truly be missed. Oh, crap, it's after five. I've got to get out of here. I'll be in trouble for working late. Bye.